Couldn't agree more, John. You need to get the white on the balk cushion rather than the balk line when you've got Neil Robertson coming behind you. The two reds, the left side of the table. I'm sure he can get through to the right hand one. He's looking at one to the right corner. He's back looking at the one to the left corner. He'd feel he's got to get this. Absolutely terrific shot. One. Now will history repeat itself in this frame? Yeah, superb pot and good control of the cue ball. Very strange choice of safety from Mark Selby when he ran out of position. As you say, you've got to find the ball cushion with Neil Robertson. You can't leave it on the ball line. You're asking for trouble. Neil seems to be a little bit concerned where the pink's going to go when it's respotted. Is he going to tie up one of these reds? He's played the cannon perfectly. What happens to the pink? No, doesn't affect much. Seven. Still available. I think he can just get through to it. I mean, he's got another red to the left middle pocket. Quick glance at the scoreboard. 47 points behind, but 67 remaining. So, plenty of points to play with. And the blue, which would normally be, you consider, the awkward ball, not too bad for a left-hander. He'd love to take the red next to the pink, but he's going to have to play one into the middle and go up for a balk colour and then back up the table again. Eight. Just means that he's lost close control, but one good shot will get him back there. And I don't know whether he's got an angle to uh, pop this and just nudge Ten. the pink and red. He, not quite. No, in an ideal world, he'd love to have been straight on this red and then it'd be no problem just to play for the black. He left. Stunning across, leaving the black into the middle. Play for the red near the top cushion now. Just needs a little bounce. Yep. And he's got it. Mark Selby. 18. will be sitting in his seat. Wondering whether it's deja vu. Coming first with a 52 break in the opening frame. Lost it. 55 in this. 19. May not be enough. He's looked long and hard at that red next to the pink to see if it would pot into the opposite corner. The one he's taking, the black, we'll find out shortly. So we'll have another close look at this. 26. Can just see enough of it. And the perfect angle to drop in behind this last red. He can leave it for the middle or for the corner. But as you said, uh, JV, that 34. blue is going to be the key ball. And being a left-hander, it's the correct.
correct side of the table for Neil if he can get that far. Thirty-five. Mm, played it nicely. Got a perfect angle on the the pink here. Just stun off the side cushion. I mean, he could get in a position on the green where he could 41. bring the blue away from the side cushion. Depends how he sees it. Forty-three. He'll be thinking a few shots ahead if he can get on the brown in such a way that he can drop into the middle of the circle there. He'd be perfectly on the blue being a left-hander and he can screw back up for the pink. So I'm sure that's what his plan will be. Forty-six. Uh, what sort of angle has he got on the brown? Yeah, I think he can run it through and come back over. Yeah, you can see from that angle. Now, whether he can get as close to the blue as I, well, he's now looking to see, but somewhere in the middle of that would be perfect. 50. That's good. He's closer to 50. it. Well, I say it's good. It's bounced a little further than he wanted. <laughs> 4 points behind he checks the scoreboard he needs the 3 remaining colours He's quite a tall lad Neil so he can stretch around oh. 55 <laughs> just over overstretch a little bit there Yes, and he's certainly not perfect on this pink. He's one point in front. The pink will put him seven points in front. But, of course, there'll still be seven remaining, so good queuing needed here. Has he got the angle just to roll this pink in, miss the cannon on the black? Wonderful part. Didn't miss the cannon. He's it's got the cannon. But this is tricky. This is tricky. Rolls it in dead weight, give it every chance and play it superbly. Well, what a train that was. Once again, Mark Selby on the wrong end of it. Made a 55, it wasn't enough. Great clearance of 68 from Neil Robertson. He leads 2-0.